Cisco S7 Traffic Shaping is another quality of service feature for limiting traffic bandwidth. What is the difference between traffic policing and traffic shaping? Where traffic shaping or traffic policing is used? These are the questions which will be answered in this section. If you want to have a definition of traffic policing and traffic shaping, both are used to limit bandwidth. Traffic policing discard extra traffic that violate the bandwidth policy. However, with traffic shaping, extra traffic is queued and forwarded with a delay when there is less traffic. Traffic policing is usually used at ISP to limit customer traffic according to their purchase bandwidth. And of course, extra traffic will be discarded. However, traffic shaping is typically used on customer side to limit traffic bandwidth and queue extra traffic before they are sent to the ISP. Therefore, important traffic will be delayed on our site which is better than being discarded on ISP site. This is the topology in which we will implement traffic shaping. Site 1 through Site 4 are connected to each other through two transport, Internet and MPLS. Usually, the bandwidth of our transports are limited and our extra traffic is dropped by ISP. It therefore makes sense to shape our traffic in one age rotors according to the purchase bandwidth so that extra traffic is queued and delayed instead of being discarded at the ISP site. Another point to mention is that with traffic shaping and policing we can limit the bandwidth of a specific traffic or bandwidth of an interface as a whole. What we are going to implement in this section is to limit bandwidth of the transport interfaces as a whole. Just to check bandwidth, I'm using two computers in site 1 and site 4 with IP addresses 172.16.11.10 in site 1 and 172.16.14.10 in site 4. I will shape the bandwidth of MPLS and internet to 200 kilobit per second. Then I will try to upload FTP traffic from site 1 to site 4. Before we start configuring the bandwidth shaping, Let's check how much bandwidth we have from site 1 to site 4 if there is no restriction. We check it with sending FTP traffic from site 1 to site 4. But before that, in the previous section, we have already configured policing. So we have to first remove our policing policy so there is no restriction in sending traffic. In traffic rules, traffic data, site 1 to site 4 policing. Now I can start sending FTP traffic from site 1 to site 4. About 1 megabit per second. This is the bandwidth from site 1 to site 4. I stop. FTP traffic and ping from site 1 to site 4 
So in the next step, we can check if it is being affected by traffic shaping and FTP traffic. At the moment, type is one millisecond, which is excellent. Now we can start configuring traffic shaping. It is very easy to limit bandwidth of transport interfaces with traffic shaping. It is a part of transport interface feature template. Template, feature, template that we have already implemented for internet and MPLS. It must be done for both transport interfaces. We suppose that the bandwidth of both transports are 200 kilobit per second. So, in the QS part, shaping rate, global, and then 200 kilobit per second. We can also preview configuration changes. As you can see, a new policy map is being created inside policy map and inside class default, which include all traffic. Class default means all other traffic. Traffic is shaped to 200 kilobit per second, and then it is applied to gigabit Ethernet one interface, which is connected to internet transport to configure. And then OK. We have to do the same configuration for MPLS transport again, template, feature template, and MPLS transport. Edit. Quality of service, shaping rate, 200 kilobit per second. After applying the shaping policy to both transport interfaces, we will re-upload FTP traffic from site 1 to site 4 to see if it is really shaped to 200 kilobit per second or not. Now we can check again. As you can see, the bandwidth is now limited to about 200 kilobit per second. The ping traffic at the moment has no effect. SSH to site 1. Ping traffic sometimes has a large delay and affected by FTP traffic, but sometimes not. Our FTP traffic is also limited about 200 kilobit per second. My telnet connection is also a bit slow because of traffic shaping and also FTP traffic that is using all of the bandwidth. 
This question of next section is to guarantee the bandwidth of important traffic and give priority to delay sensitive traffic to ensure that they are not impacted with bulk and junk traffic. Now let's check it with CLI command to make sure that the traffic is matched with our policy and also other details that may be shown in CLI environment. Show, show policy map, interface, gigabit ethernet, one, which is internet transport, and gigabit ethernet two, which is MPLS transport. As you can see, the traffic is uh, forwarded through gigabit ethernet two. The offer rate is more than 200 kilobit per second. We can see here the rate of sending traffic, the rate of drop when the queue is full, the length of queue, current number of packet inside queue, which is 47, and the number of drop packet, which is 20, Seven when Q is full. In the next section, we will manage the Q created by traffic shaping to prioritize and guarantee bandwidth for some specific traffic.